Welcome to Festool TV. My name is Frank, and today I want to show you how to work with aluminum composite panels. Aluminum composite panels are usually panel materials that have a plastic core. This core is coated with thin aluminum layers on both sides. Such aluminum composite panels, known as a Lucoban for outdoor installation, and as Dibon panels for interior installation, are used primarily in facades or in trade show booth construction. In order to cover columns or facades, it's often necessary to bevel the edges of these Alucoband or Dibon panels. To create such soft edges, you need to mill V-grooves. In this video, I'm going to use the PF1200 milling machine to create these V-grooves. This milling machine has an integrated milling cutter, which is used for the subsequent machining of the material. The important thing here is that I can now choose the angle. The available options are either a 90 degree angle or a 135 degree angle. Depending on the application, I can now install the appropriate cutter. Another crucial parameter to set up is the material thickness. This means that depending on whether I use a Lucoban material with a thickness of 6 millimeters or Dibon material with a thickness of 4 or 3 millimeters, I must always install the corresponding feeler roller. The feeler roller, as implied by the name, scans the depth to prevent the cutter from penetrating too deep into the material. In our example today, we're going to cut with the Alucoban panel. This means that I'll screw a 4 mm Alucoban feeler roller into the machine. On the inside of the housing cover, you can find an overview that will assist you with overriding the right feeler roller for the different material thicknesses. The milling machine is now installed onto our guide rail, which we already know from the videos on the handheld circular saw and the Festool router. Materials always have two sides, side A and side B. This means that, in this case, side B will be grooved here. Side A is usually already painted and covered with protective foil. This guide rail is put on top. Of course, I can now find my position by checking the cut indicator. When I deal with large size panel materials, I can find the right position by using additional equipment installed in the guide rail. This machine must be connected to a 36 mm mobile extractor hose. This is the optimum way of extracting any plastic and aluminum chippings. In the front section of the system, we have the so-called adjustable stops. I can preset these to the feeler roller depth to prevent my device from penetrating the material too deeply at the edges when I start cutting. The groove was milled successfully, 
Here you can also see very clearly that I did not cut through the plastic material. A short section remains intact. When we now bend the material, the surface may not fracture under any circumstances. Once the entire part has been completed, it's installed in place. Then you remove the protective foil and the workpiece is ready. I hope you enjoyed watching this video on working with a milling machine and with various aluminum composite panels. I look forward to seeing you next time at Festool TV. Thank you very much. Yours, Frank.